All right, guys, I just want to do a quick video on how to test used solar panels. This is an old one I pulled out of the pile. Um, I think it's a 250 watt panel. Let's take a look at the specs here. All right. Open circuit voltage is going to be. 37.6 um, short circuit current 8.85 amps and that that's really what we're gonna what we're gonna concentrate on to just do a quick test on on the panel it's a 250 watt panel So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Gonna put you up on the tripod. First thing we're gonna do is check the voltage, okay? So Get your, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see this. You want to get your multimeter, put it on volts, and DC, and then with the pen, this one doesn't have connectors on it. I'm going to hook the multimeter up to the cables here with it laying down I'm getting 21 point uh, 22 volts let me tilt the panel so that uh, it's a little bit better angle it didn't make too much difference 22.9 Hope you can see the meter. 22.9 volts. Now we're going to do a, a short circuit test. Now for this, you want to disconnect. If, if you're going to use your multimeter, you got to make sure that the multimeter is capable of the, uh, the current rating, the short circuit current rating of, of the solar panels. So this one's rated at 10 amps. We're looking at... A um, little over 8 amps. I don't know how close we're going to get. It's winter time. I mean, the, the sky is pretty clear right now, so we might get up close to that. We'll do, um, we'll do a test with the multimeter first. You want to disconnect the multimeter before you switch it. Otherwise, you might be a possibility, depending on your multimeter, of, of blowing the fuse on the multimeter. So disconnect at least one lead and switch switch your leads around to the to the amp jack so you want the common and this one's labeled at 10 amps again put it on DC and then we're getting five amps right now do a tilt here 8.2 Well, it went up to 8.2. We're around 8 amps Which isn't too bad for this time of year and less than optimal conditions You don't want to leave the leave the multimeter hooked up too long um, Otherwise it might it might damage the uh, the resistor in there so just do a quick test like that. Now, let's do a test, an actual short circuit test, and using a clamp meter. Clamp it on. Yeah. 
five and a quarter amps. Let's tilt it back up again. 8.6 amps. And what was the rating on this thing? It's pretty close to that, isn't it? 8.85. And we're getting 8.6. So I would say, just with them two simple tests, this is a pretty good shape. We've got, there's some... There's some, uh, you know, it's not the cleanest, cleanest panel. I did, I did wipe it real quick, but it, I mean, it's got some water marks or whatever those are. And we've got something going on in there. Looks like, I don't know if there was some water got in there from underneath or if there's a leak here, but. We've got some some glass. It's not not coming through to this side, but kind of looks. I don't know what that is. Some kind of cracks on the underneath the uh, on the substrate underneath the panels. Then there's a little bit of a some kind of a mark in there, right there with some hairline stuff going on. That might be some hairline cracks in that in that cell. But other than that it looks pretty decent and the output's good and it doesn't look like um doesn't look like there's too much of a problem with, with this one. Physically anyways. Electrically it seems to be pretty good another thing we've got a panel that has low voltage or no voltage inside this box there's diodes uh, there's some bypass diodes in there let me open this one up and I'll show you One looks like there's some some water got in there must be I don't know if that seal let water through or what's going on how it got in there all right we might have had a camera malfunction there um, I'll go back through this these are the diodes this one has six diodes if one of the diodes is blown, you, you probably have low voltage. If, if two of these are blown, you're probably going to have no voltage. So if you come across a deal where there's uh, defective panels, um, you, it might be worthwhile to go through the panels and, and just check the diodes. might be that the, uh, the panel is okay. You just need some... Uh, need a new diode or a couple of diodes and you back, be back in business. Um, another thing to check is this this back panel. You want to make sure there's no cracks or tears or anything like that in there. Or, or if you see any visible burn marks, you don't want that panel. Now, remember on the other side we had... Um, we had a dark spot with some hairline cracks. Well, this is right underneath that area. Uh, looks like looks like it might have gotten burnt. I can't really tell for sure, but it kind of looks kind of looks like it. I might still go ahead and use this panel for something. I, I'll just put some put some epoxy or something over that to seal it up because the uh, panels putting putting you know pretty good output out so I, I think I think it's it's probably okay it's just that one cell might be a little bit degraded so that's about it guys just wanted to Make a quick video on 
how to do a just a simple test um, to make sure you're getting some decent panels. Another thing, I, I set up a website, and I'll put a link to that below below the video here. I'm gonna put some educational stuff on there. Put a lot lot better description of how to test panels. Some some different tests you can do. All right, let me know what you think, guys. If anybody's got any comments, suggestions, or any other techniques to uh, to test solar panels, put it down in the comments below. I guess that's about it for this one. If you guys got any value out of the video, I, I sure would appreciate a like and a subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It really helps the channel grow. So that's about it for now. Happy New Year, guys. I do appreciate you. Have a good one.